All right, so hi, I'm Morris Rosenthal for Phoner Books, and this is the Laptop Repair Workbook. This book is available through Amazon.com or through BarnesandNoble.com, other online places. You're very unlikely to find it in a bookstore because bookstores just don't carry computer hardware books anymore, much less laptop hardware books, of which there's only a handful. The book is divided into two major sections. Um, the first section has a text introduction. It takes up a little less than half of the book to various laptop technology and basic troubleshooting procedures, what you'll be looking for. And in the margins, if you can see here, there will be links to photo, photo illustrated procedures on the phonerbooks.com website. And there's a representative sprinkling of repair procedures. There are some test procedures maybe 25 pages in all with a few hundred photographs. There aren't any photographs in this book. Most publishers are happy to fill books up with color photographs so they can charge twice as much. The problem with laptops is they're all basically unique to their model and line. And having photographs from one laptop on how to take it apart might give you confidence to be able to proceed and start breaking things because they really they have different ways of being put together and you don't want to just start prying because something turns out to be a little different the way to get the exact photo photographic procedure for taking apart your own laptop is either from the manufacturer manual which might already be on the hard drive which means you may not be able to access it if your laptop is broken or on the internet just by googling your exact model number along with something like disassembly instructions or take it apart, taking apart, and you'll usually be able to turn up a photographic procedure from somebody who has taken one apart. They may not even be a professional. So the second part of this book, and the real core, are these troubleshooting flowcharts. And there are a dozen of these power and AC adapter troubleshooting, LCD backlight inverter problems, motherboard CPU failure, hard drive problems, DVD and CD problems, wireless prompt, wireless issues, modem connection issues, overheating shutdown, sound troubleshooting, network hardware problems, keyboard pointer and mouse, USB troubleshooting, and, and battery life and charging issues. And looking at these flowcharts, you might think, well, I don't know enough about laptops to be able to use this because it has LED winks wiggling cord. What does that mean? What's an LED? Live AC? What does that mean? But we have to keep these symbols small, these diamond decision symbols, because otherwise you'd never fit enough decisions on a page to have a useful flowchart. And if you have to start breaking flowcharts over multiple pages, they just don't work out. So what we did is we have the flowchart, and then on the, the following pages, you'll see the symbols repeated in the margin. And for each decision symbol, there'll be a paragraph or a couple paragraphs explaining what's really being meant. So if you're not sure what a particular decision means, you flip forward and you find it. And the same layout is used in the ebook version. In fact, the ebook is identical to the printed book, except it doesn't have a cover. And the links in the ebook are active. If you click on them, they'll bring you directly to the phonerbooks.com website page that's referred to. So I'm Morris Rosenthal, and I hope you enjoy the laptop repair workbook.